It's another Thursday. Your friend Paul Adelaide. Philippians 4, 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Your goals, your plans, and every vision you have for this year. I'm praying that you will receive supernatural strength from God to be able to accomplish them. At the end of the year, you and I will look back and we will say, God has given us the strength and the grace we needed to accomplish our dreams and visions in Jesus' name. God bless you. Today, we'll be dealing with what I title a case for Jesus. A case for Jesus. Mark chapter 5, 1 to 20. Mark chapter 5, 1 to 20. We'll read Mark chapter 5, verse 2. And when he had come out of the boat, immediately they met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit. Sometimes people ask, why do I have to give my life to Christ? Why do I have to become a Christian? I just remember recently a young woman, for months and months, she's been having this dream of somebody coming to strangle her in the dream, unable to sleep, fearful dream that she is afraid to sleep. So she was testifying recently. He said, immediately I became a Christian. I confessed Christ. He said, I can't lie. He said, oh, the dream stopped. Everything stopped. Nothing coming to press me again. Nothing oppressing me. I said, that is it. That is the Jesus. I said, if you relax, you'll find out more in this a case for Jesus. This is part one. Number one, every man or woman on earth can be oppressed or possessed by an unclean spirit. In other words, there will be an area in our lives, whether you are rich or poor, that you are not 100% in control of. It can be anger, it can be pride, it can be jealousy, it can be depression, it can be fearful dreams like that lady, it can be fear, insomnia, you don't sleep at night, it can be pride, as, like I said, bitterness, and unforgiving spirit, greed, it can be all forms of immorality and sexual perversions, it can be pornog pornography, it can be drugs, the list goes on. You may have an area in your life that you are struggling with, you are not in control of. An unclean spirit is responsible for those areas of your life that you are not in control of. It's a demon from Satan that is sent or attached to a man to carry out the plan of Satan to steal, kill, and destroy the good plans that God has for us using the areas of our lives that we are not in control of. It's a spirit, you don't see it, but you feel the impact, that is assigned to carry out the will of the devil or use you to do the will of the devil. 2 Timothy 2.26 2 Timothy 2.26 You know what? Sin opens the door to an unclean spirit. For the Bible says, all have seen and have come short of the glory of God. And the Bible says, the wages of sin is death, spiritual and physical death. Romans 3.23, Romans 3.23, Romans 6.23, Romans 6.23. This is the good news. Jesus is the only one, not any traditionalist, not any spiritualist, Jesus is the only one that has all authority over every unclean spirit, over any demon tormenting or troubling us. For the Bible says that God gave him a name, Philippians chapter 2, 9 to 11. Philippians chapter 2, 9 to 11. God gave him a name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Everything bows down to Jesus. In Luke chapter 10, 17, Luke chapter 10, 17, the disciples of the days of Jesus, when Jesus was around, Jesus sent them out and they came back reporting, giving a feedback that the demons were subjected to them when they used his name. So you can see how powerful Jesus is. Jesus is the only one that can take care of sin. The scripture says, 1 John chapter 1, 7, 8 and 9, 1 John chapter 1, 7, 8 and 9, it says the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses all sins. If we confess our sin, Jesus is able to cleanse us. Jesus can help you. This is just part one. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I confess you as the Lord and Savior. 
In the name of Jesus, I resist the devil and command him to leave me alone. The devil leaves you like that woman. Immediately you make Jesus your Lord and Savior. He will only stay if you fail to obey God's word or dwell in sin. Or if you fail to resist him. James 4, 7. Resist the devil and you will flee after you have submitted to God. James 4, 7. If you want to support our work, go to our website beneath it. You'll see the donate page. God bless you.